What up 2K fans? Welcome to part two of my tutorial series. I do this one once a year as well. This is my ultimate dunking tutorial. As always, I'm coming off the dome, so please help me in the comments if I make any mistakes. So first we'll start with the basic dunks and work our way to the advanced dunks towards the end of the video. There aren't too many drastic changes to dunking in NBA 2K18. You can still just run towards the rim holding a sprint button and pushing square or X to do a dunk. But I want to show you guys how to do the right dunks at the right time. This is the two hands for safety. Arguably the safest way to dunk in NBA 2K. You do this by holding sprint and moving the right stick towards the basket. This will limit some of those chase down blocks. And don't act like I didn't tell you. In many cases the safest way to dunk after you beat your defender is by dunking with your right hand or your left hand. You do this by holding sprint and moving the right stick to the left or to the right. A lot of times it's better to go left handed on right handed defenders. Next we have reverse dunks. These are perfect for when you're avoiding defenders going along the baseline. All you have to do is hold sprint and move the right stick towards the baseline out of bounds in this case, diagonal left or diagonal right. And this will make it really hard for the defender to block you. Now on to the flashy dunks. And this is another type of dunk that you want to do on command. You simply hold sprint and move the right stick away from the basket. In this case, we're doing 360s with Kobe Bryant and Vince Carter. Now this is one of my favorite park dunks. I put this in every dunk tutorial, the Jordan foul line dunk. This is a flashy dunk. While sprinting, just move the right stick away from the basket at the foul line. But you must have the Jordan dunk package on your character or be using the 1988 or 89 Michael Jordan. Now one of the most punishing things you can do to someone is posterize them. For your my player, there's four dunk packages. The fourth allows for more posterizers to happen more often. And make sure you have a high dunk rating to unlock those contact dunks. I think it's an 82 or above. So now let's look at putback dunks. These are fairly easy to do if you have a guy that's really good at getting putbacks. It's all about timing. And even here you can put back your own putback. With a clear lane to the basket, hold the sprint button and tap square or X on the X box. I personally have a lot more success when I wait for the ball to come off the rim. And in this case, we get a putback after a block. So now we're going to take a look at some lobs. In order to finish a lob, you simply have to hold square or X on the X box. Your man will jump up there, catch it, and throw it down. And if you want to lob it up to a teammate, you do so by double tapping Y or square on the PlayStation 4. And if your teammate has a clear path, he'll jump up there and get it. And one of the best ways to clown your opponent is to lob it to yourself. You know I have to have Sean Kemp and Tracy McGrady in on this one. To do this, you just simply have to have a clear path to the basket and double tap Y on the Xbox or triangle on the PlayStation. And new to NBA 2K18 is the double lob in which you can lob it to yourself, catch it, and then throw it to a teammate. This was pretty crazy when I first saw this. Just have a clear path to the basket, double tap Y or triangle, Catch it and double tap Y again upon receiving the ball. You'll throw it up to a teammate. And given the perfect situation, you could do this three or four times, maybe more. Well, that concludes today's dunk tutorial. If you found this video helpful, smack that like button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I promise to be back with some more tutorials for you guys later. later.